good afternoon you guys welcome back to another vlog y'all i am super super tired i'm exhausted it is literally how time is it is it 4 13 oh my god i guess it is it's like four something y'all and i've literally been in the bed like all day not necessarily sleep but just relaxing watching youtube i came downstairs this morning when babe left for work literally just to get <clears throat> um i guess what you would consider breakfast it was like two do y'all know like um what the corn dogs are like the breakfast corn dogs is like a pancake outer and then like a sausage inner i got two of those and some coffee and i've been upstairs ever since chilling y'all i am looking super greasy i just got out the shower um but yeah honey i have been in bed and that is because let me turn my air back on it's freaking hot I've been in bed, and that is because, y'all, I worked freaking four 12-hour shifts in a row. I'm exhausted. Like, I didn't make my schedule. The schedule was made back when I had COVID because we, um, as nurses, were made out six-week schedules, y'all. I don't know why they want to do me dirty. I don't know why they wanted to do me like that. But they put me for four in a row, and I just worked it. And um, it's really been just hectic at work it's been um i'll say this since i've been back to work the patient mix has been horrible the mix of patients that we have the different personalities on the unit it has been horrible so like it has been super exhausting at work like it not even it, funny exhausting like just so happy i'm off for the next five days but yeah y'all i just want to start a new vlog i look horrible the lighting is horrible I got on my extra large wrap today, y'all. I made it obnoxiously big on purpose because I always try to like make them smaller, but I felt, you know, like making it big today. But yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm getting ready to check the mail. Actually, I'm getting ready to put this vlog together, um, a shopping vlog me and babe did a couple weeks ago. Um, gonna edit that. And then I was gonna cook today but it's looking a little Mexican-ish today. It's looking like a little order out, a little takeout. I don't think I'm cooking. I just, I need to learn how to like do nothing. Like some days <clears throat> when I'm really tired, I still force myself to do stuff. Let me turn this light on, see if that helps a little bit. Um, Like I force myself to do stuff just cause I don't want to feel like a lazy bum or a lay around, but like some days you just need to not do nothing. And today is one of those days. So I'm forcing myself not to do nothing. I am going to straighten up a little bit, though, just because the house is a little messy from just the work week, us putting things here and there. But we are ordering takeout, y'all. So see you later. Come on, sunlight. Come on, sunlight. Hey, y'all. I actually have been chilling out for the last couple hours, y'all. Um, I did manage to get my kitchen straightened up. And I've been watching vlogs. I'm so excited. I get to watch all these vlogs from New York Fashion Week that all of my favorite fashion influencers have vlogged. So I'm getting all the tea and the latest looks and trends. I am definitely a fashion girl. Definitely, y'all. One day, I will be invited to Fashion Week, okay? Mark my words. <clears throat> but anyway... I'm headed to get this Mexican food. I ordered a Supreme quesadilla. Babe is getting something called um, the El Jalisco Especial, which is like a special dish. It's like steak, not steak. He didn't want steak, so I took the steak out. But it's like um, shrimp and chicken with a whole bunch of peppers and onions grilled. I don't know if it's over a bed of rice. I can't remember. But anyway, it looked pretty good. I've had it before. It's actually bomb as hell. Um, but I've been in the mood for a quesadilla, so that's what I got. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I literally just threw something on, y'all. Like, I got on um, these gray leggings and my hair wrapped in a white spaghetti strap shirt with no bra. So I just threw on this little jacket from my job it's actually my work jacket and i got it folded over so y'all can't see the logo because i don't need y'all stalking me okay but anyway um i'm getting ready to pick this food up oh and i got like an appetizer i got some um 
papas locas which if you know spanish it means crazy fries and they come with a whole bunch of like cheese and something else on top of it i can't remember am i going the right way yeah i'm going the right way anyway y'all um, the skin is making i mean the sun is making my skin look amazing but yeah y'all so i'm just ordering mexican today and we are going to eat chill out i'll probably be watching vlogs all freaking evening just because i'm catching up i've been working four days straight so i've missed a ton of vlogs and i'm just trying to catch up on everybody that i watch um i've really been watching let's see this is my turn yeah i've been watching a ton of new people Ooh, this is the bmw that i want i wish y'all could see it I think it's the X6. I don't know. It's like a little hatchback. But anyway, let me turn in and get this food. I have to go in and order. I mean, go in and pay for it. I already ordered it. I was trying to order online, but it didn't have a spot where I could like order in the future because I still wanted it to be hot and <clears throat> fresh when I got here. So I didn't order online. Oh, they took down a little tent they had out here. I guess that was for like when people were dining outside because of COVID. It is okay. It's popping. Oh Lord, thank God I put on a jacket. Cause Lord, I would have been embarrassed coming in here with no bra. I can't do that, y'all. I don't have little bitty, itty, titties. <laughs> I have big old bazooms, so I can't afford to do that. Um. Yeah, but let me put my mask on to get on in here, y'all. Okay, y'all. Uh, we're just getting back in the car. Got our sodas. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to put those on the seat. Woo. I don't know why I be trying to be so fashionable. Knowing it's hot in these glasses and his mask. Y'all know I'm a fan of doing the most. <sighs> Let me take this crap off, honey. It's not too hot though today. It's 78. Whoo, child. on out of body here get on up out of here I think that little Mexican dude was trying to flirt on the low y'all he was trying to be my poppy little does he know I already have a poppy a big poppy somebody recognize your voice boy don't be listening to my voice don't be listening to me I take my order and get on. Get, get, get going. <sighs> anyway, y'all. I'm just going to, um, to chill out. Still tired. Just exhausted, y'all. I mean, <sighs> part of me knows why, obviously, I worked 48 hours in four days. Like, duh, anybody would be tired. But at the same time, the way I'm drained is like, damn. Did it take that much of a toll? But y'all, let me tell y'all, my job, let me put on this, cause I know y'all gonna chastise me. Why don't you have your seatbelt on, hun? Um, but, um, what I was gonna say? Oh, the way my job works, y'all, y'all know I work in mental health. So it's not so much as physically draining, mentally draining though. Like the mental toll that mental health can take on you. <clears throat> it's almost like a freaking oxymoron. It's just like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Some days I'd be wishing I worked med surge or something like that. Something that was more demanding physically where I could like use my skills. But at the same time, y'all, man, I'm just going to say this. Because, you know, I can't really talk about my job because I never want to like violate HIPAA codes and all that stuff I never want to uh get in trouble because you never know who's watching you never know who will try to snitch on you you never know 
if your bosses know that I got a YouTube channel, I don't know. But the thing is, I want to be safe, right? But what I will say is that what makes this job so draining more than anything, which I said early, <clears throat> earlier, excuse me, <clears throat> is um, the mix of patients that you get on the floor. It is already draining, y'all, okay? Dealing with people, period. I mean, let's be honest. Whenever you have a career or a job that um, requires you to constantly be in the face of people, it's just draining because people are naturally just emotional. You're going to be running into different personalities. Um, everybody doesn't get along, that type of thing. I work in mental health so obviously mentally let's just be honest um a lot of my patients come to me most of them obviously come to me unstable mentally okay and so when you work in a field like i do you have to remember that you can't be triggered you can't be emotional behind the things people say behind the things people do behind their behavior like literally the name of my unit is a behavioral health unit um <clears throat> people's behaviors change with their mental state that's why i be trying to tell people that the mind is like the most important organ of course besides the heart because the way you think affects the way that you act um that's why it's important to you know think positive stay encouraged and those type of things because your outward behavior is going to reflect the inward you know your brain and what you think and how you you know see the world but let me tell y'all when you're dealing with a mix of unstable people who have you know illnesses that are beyond their control it can be draining you know you have people that have uh schizophrenia people that have bipolar disorder people who have mood disorders um I deal with a lot of patients that have dementia because I personally personally work on a uh, senior unit. I work with the elderly. And so um, not just, you know, mental disorders, but also you got to think about these patients that I work with. They're older, they're set in their ways, they're stubborn. So even if they're perfectly fine, they're still stubborn. They still have an attitude. Um, let it be noted that... <laughs> You know, old folks ain't all sweet and gentle and, you know, all that type of stuff. They can be pistols. Like, they, they say what's on their mind. They don't give a damn. They've lived, you know, the majority of their life. Like, they probably feel like they have their right to say and do what they want. <clears throat> so, you know, you have to remember that, you know, I can't cuss this person out. I can't be triggered by what they say. I can't respond the way I probably would on the streets. Because you're professional, you know, it's your job to remain calm, to remain professional, to also think at the same time, like this person literally may be a different person in the morning than they would be in the evening or vice